Hello viewer, you welcome to my channel once again. I remain Okozi Matthew. For those of us that are just uh, tuning in for the first time, we basically talk about fire safety and occupational health and management system on this platform. Today we want to look at some of the common causes of fire in our residential buildings. Fire as it may is a destructive and very dangerous element which could consume what we have labored for in a lifetime within a twinkling of an eye. Therefore, we have to be very, very mindful on how we can control fire from occurring in our residential building or what have you. So that today we want to look at the seven causes of fire in our residence and how they can be controlled uh, physically uh, by our method of uh, controlling precautions. Here today we'll be looking at the seven common causes of fire at home. Number one, we have cooking fire. Oil and animal fats, portable cooking appliances such as toasters and electrical equipment or cookers can be a source of fire when they are not attended to properly. Never leave these portable appliances unsupervised and make sure they are cool to be touched before storing them appliance. away. Heaters that require fuel such as kerosene and especially dangerous as they can ignite or blow up if not properly washed. Electrical heater can cause fire if the electrical wiring is faulty or other fabrics overheat when they come in contact with the coils. Always follow the instruction on any heating device you are using and inspect it regularly to ensure it is good condition. Never leave the house with a heater running Make sure flammable materials are kept away from heaters. Number three, electrical fire. Electrical fire occur because of short circuit causing hacking or sparking or faulty wiring such that ignite building materials or from circuit that are overloaded with current, causing wire to overheat. This is likely because electrical fire often ignite in hidden locations and build into major fire before residents are aware of them. And such fire frequently may ignite while residents are asleep. Properly installed electrical systems are very safe. It's a good idea to have your wiring checked out by a professional electrician, especially if you live in an older home. And don't perform your own electrical repairs or improvement unless you understand the principle of electricity and have experience doing such work. Number four, smoking. Smoking is hazardous to your health in many ways, including the potential for igniting fire from cigarette boots dropped on carpeting, furniture, or other flammable materials. If you must smoke, do it aside and smoke over a sink while using an ash strain to help reduce your fire risk. Number five, candle. Candle can be a source of fire when it is carelessly handled. The matches and lighter used to light candles are equally dangerous if left in a place where children can reach them. Keep matches and lighters locked in a secure place if you have kids and never leave a candle burning in a room that is unattended to. Always as you wish them before leaving the room. Keep candle flames at least 12 inches from any materials that might ignite. Chemical fire. 
Residential chemical fire occur most commonly when volatile vapors from gasoline and other petroleum liquid reach a flash point temperature or when the fumes contact a source of open flame. Store all fuels and other chemicals in their properly containers and keep them in locations that are protected from heat. Keep containers tightly sealed to prevent gas vapors from escaping and possibly reaching a source of flame or spark. Store the container at least 50 feet away from pilot light Christmas and tree. ignition sources. Other Christmas tree lights that used incandescent bulbs can generate quite a lot of heat they can pose a very serious danger of flash fire. A hot light or a spark can immediately set the tree aflame, and such fire spread incredibly fast. Never leave Christmas tree lights plugged in when you are not at home or when you are sleeping, no matter if the tree is natural or artificial to an end to today's episode if you like today's lecture i want you to give me a thumbs up like and share and uh, drop your comment press the notification button for more educative uh, lecture always remember that fire safety is all about separating ignition source from combustible or flammable material Remain blessed and God bless you.